Good day. In this video, we'll take a look to the inventory topic. What is inventory and how to value inventory in our business accounts? Firstly, let's identify what's inventory. Inventory are the raw materials, working progress, finished goods, and goods held for sale in the ordinary course of business. Main point is goods should be held for sale in the ordinary course of business. What does it mean? Let's think about it. Let's suppose that you bought notebook. If you will use this notebook in your business as an equipment used to keep the business going, it should be treated as a fixed asset. We'll review this topic in our further videos. If you will sell this notebook in the ordinary course of your business, in other words, you expect it can be converted into cash within one operation period. It should be treated as an inventory. There could be two types of inventory. First, first one for the manufacturing businesses, like raw materials, work in progress, finished goods. The second one is for the manufacturing businesses. We can example goods held for sale. Now, let's take a look what does inventory valuation means. The value of inventory is the amount which inventory shown in books of business. The value of inventory is calculated as the law of cost and net realizable value for each separate item or group of items. Cost is the money which we gave to purchase that item. What, what is net realizable value? Net realizable value is expected selling price less any cost still to be incurred in getting them ready for the sale. An example may illustrate this point. Suppose that business purchases shoes for 10 Asia, each of them, and plant sells them for 15 Asia. When we enter to the market, market prices were the same as we planned to sell. But we identified that there are defects in these shoes and shoemaker asks six Asian to fix each of them. So now our expected sale price is 15 Asian. To find our NRV, we have to deduct cost in amount 6 Asian that still needs to be incurred in getting them ready for sale. Now our NRV will be 9 Asian. As we said before, the value of inventory is calculated as a law of cost and net realizable value for each separate item or group of items. In this case, NRV is lower than cost. So we will ignore the cost and value of inventories will be calculated at NRV for each group of items. Decrease in the value of inventory in 100 ACN should be debited to profit and loss statement. Now let's change some figures in our example. Suppose that when we entered to the market, prices were the same as we planned to sell. But we identified that there are defects in our shoes and shoemaker asks to ACM to fix each shoes. So 
Now we expect sale price is 15 To find our NRV, we have to deduct costs in two ASEAN that still needs to be incurred in getting them ready for the sale. In this case, our NRV is 13 ASEAN. As we said before, the value of inventory is calculated as a lower cost and net realizable value for each separate item or group. In this case, as it's seen, cost is lower than NRV. So we'll ignore NRV and value of inventories will be calculated at cost for the group of items. There will be no change in our accounts. Let's make a little example for the mixture of inventory evaluation. Suppose that you have more than one type of inventories in your stock and the NRV and cost amounts are different. So we'll choose the lowest one for each group of item and summarize at the end. In this case, our inventory figure will be 58 AGM. In the next video, we'll look through cost valuation models like FIFO, LIFO, and AFCO. What do they mean and how to calculate them?